Hello, this is 04 Mouse talking about this art work I did. I am not dummy thick, I am smarty thick. And this artwork, like most of my artwork, was just a dumb idea I had randomly one day that I wrote down and came back to later to say like, hmm, that would be fun to draw. And like most of my artworks, I kind of found the emotion and the kind of feel I was going for as I drew it. I kind of have a vague idea of what I wanted to look like, like as far as pose and facial expression and everything, and just kind of tweak that as I go on. Um, with most of my artwork, I do try to get the body and head right first, and then go with the add on the arms later. Usually, put the arms on a different layer just so I can move them around easier. And I did want to make this character very, very thick, very thick thighs. I could strangle you, strangle me in those furry thighs. Um, I was initially going to have her emotion be like indignant that you suggest that she was a dummy. <laughs> and I wasn't sure exactly what to do with the pause on this. I was going to have her more points at you, but that's kind of difficult for me to draw foreshortening with like the finger pointing right at you, at the viewer. Mm -hmm. Just something I need to work on more is the skill and foreshortening and everything. Still a lot of stuff I need to practice. I did add those glasses to make her look more like a nerd, more like a dork, I guess. You know, glasses are cute, and they're fun. I guess I went with square glasses, I don't know why. Just look more nerdish. Um, in any case, this was a badge I made for TFF 2020. TFF 2020 is going to be my second year at the RS Alley TFF. I went there last year, that went pretty well. And this year I'm drawing a lot of different badges. I want to finish around eight badge designs I'm going to sell there. This is the fourth one I finished. Um, TFF is fun. It's a different kind of experience. I just go there, sell some art, draw all day. It is fun. It's something to look forward to. And this past few weeks I've just been drawing stuff for, for TFF, preparing for stuff. And that's like why this canvas is the exact size it is, because that will fit perfectly into these badge holders I got, which are four and a half by three inches or so, and I can just print this off with my fancy new printer I got because my old one crapped out, and it'll just fit perfectly in there and be great. Looks very professional, <laughs> right? Please tell me it looks professional. Um, initially, I was going to have this character be like yellow and orangish, um, but as I went further with it, like the bright orange, the bright yellow, don't think it looked as good as I wanted it to, so I went with more traditional like orange brown fox ish design. Not exactly the same as my other character, Sox. So she's a bit brighter than he is. And I like that. Like it looked different. Uh right now, it looks kinda like a finnegan to me. And you know, I spend so long with digital art, it's very easy to just like switch colors back and forth and change things, but there is a certain point where you say like, mm, is it really worth doing these like two pixels or 50% opacity versus 55% opacity? Is it really worth the time and minutes on these two pixels or this little bitty thing that no one will notice if it was different or not? <laughs> uh, at the same time, on the other hand, you know, I do want to make the best possible artwork I can. And that means like, Comparing back and forth, is this better, this better, but you know, time is limited on this mortal plane of Earth, whatever, whatever. You get what I'm saying. You know, I want to make the best possible art I can, and I want to be satisfied with it. I want to look at this and say, like, yes, that is great. I did a good job on that. But at the same time, I don't want to spend like hours and hours tweaking things back and forth a little bit at a time when I could be spending a time like drawing the background or drawing the words or whatever to make it look better. Make it look finished instead of yeah there are times you just have to pull the trigger and keep moving forward and you know go back later and say like hmm at this final stage would it look better like this or like this whatever you get what i'm saying in case i initially had the words of i am very smart thick but i changed that to i am smarty thick because i didn't want the words to cover up her super thick thighs that much and 
I also wanted it to be a bit more cutesy, I guess. Um, I did change the expression in the end of that mouth to be more like a smile, just because it would look a bit cuter, I guess. And at the end, I did add this background of bookshelves and a chalkboard and everything uh, to make her look more like a nerd in a classroom. Like right here, I'm drawing books and bookshelves and everything. Uh, there's some like hello and stuff guy to oh whoa is at it and a globe because she's so smart she's a globe earther and I added like six to one in Roman numerals on that book like I ended up covering that up I didn't even know as I covered it up with her tail in the end and I had the x3 on that chalkboard I am proud of that that was cute initially I was gonna have her lean a chalk like the chalkboard I thought that might look like a cigarette. Um, I wasn't sure how to get around that, so I just changed to a pencil. Mm. Yeah, because you know, if you think about like a badge, like it's gonna be hanging from someone, it's gonna be, you're just gonna see it from like a few feet away, so you don't wanna get misinterpreted, I guess. And I end up with this kind of orangish brown color scheme. I did, I did like how this turned out, and I do like how the glasses turned out with very bright blue against that orange fur background. It was fun. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty happy with how this turned out, and like I said, it's just a lot of time right now just going back and forth, like tweaking little things in here and there, like things so small no one would even notice. At, you know, at a certain point, you know, you gotta, you want it to be as good as possible, but at a certain point, you gotta say, okay, that's finished, that's good, that's done. Yeah, that is something that you work on more. Is efficiency, I guess it would be. In any case, I am happy with how this turned out, and I do look forward to TFF. And you know, if you're at TFF, come say hi, come see me. I really do hope you enjoyed listening to me ramble about this artwork and my process, and I do hope to see you next time. Goodbye.